for shit that we bottling in. Going live, but we out on the gram. It's the land of supply and demand. All my young niggas chopping up grams. And them choppers gon' pop in their hands. Back and lay like they got an exam. If this beats my nigga look just like home records, they got their eye on your man. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl OG Chizzy Beats. So this will likely be the last installation of Bonnet Cookups because I low-key miss being in front of the camera. But anyways, as a lot of you guys know, J. Cole and the Dreamville team recently released a mixtape with DJ Drama called D-Day and has a lot of good songs and beats on it. So I thought this would be the perfect time to go over how to sample and make a modern boom bap beat. So the song I'm sampling today is called Would You Rather by the Georgettes and I actually found it in the most random way. I was on Twitter scrolling through the timeline and I saw an old Jay Versace video like where he was eating at brunch and this song was in the background and I was like, I gotta sample this. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I chop up that song and came up with the beat that you just heard in the preview, go ahead, keep watching, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment and let's go ahead and get into the cookup. Okay y'all, so if y'all see some awkward jumps between the audio and the sample it's because youtube copyrighted this video so i had to cut out a lot of stuff but this is me um pointlessly pitching it up 300 cents to try and not get copyrighted and here i'm taking out this beginning dead space so i can try and get this um sample on tempo which um spoiler alert, i never do so this is me testing it out with different bpms and like i said i didn't get it in tempo but i ended up settling at 135 and basically having to tap it out by myself and count it in my head like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is what I do whenever a sample has like a changing tempo and I use this throughout the whole sample to get my chops. And now I'm going to show you guys the three chops that I ended up using. As you can see, I chopped more than three things because I like to chop a lot and then figure out what I want to use, but it can be a bit overwhelming, but that's just a part of the sampling lifestyle. So this is the first chop. Would you This is the second chop. And this is the last chop I ended up using. All right, so now I'm gonna use that verse first chop and I'm gonna make it a unique sample just so that when I change this property, it doesn't change the properties of the other sample. I'm gonna put on stretch mode and then shrink it down so that it fits within eight bars. And now that I've done that, I'm basically about to test it out and see if it forms a perfect loop, which it doesn't, but that's good enough for what I needed at the moment. So as you can see, it didn't loop perfectly back into the beginning, but that was fine for what I needed. I was ready to go ahead and look for something to build my verse around. I needed something that would transition seamlessly from the intro into the verse. So I decided to go ahead and try test out this second loop right here. So now is the moment of truth. I'm going to put it right next to the intro and see if it um, transitions pretty well into each, each other. And that was a seamless transition. So I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this chop and see what I want to do to make this verse interesting. So I'm just chopping and moving things around and testing it out. So this is a pretty all right bounce, but I had an idea to kind of elevate it. So I wanted to take this chop from the intro and put it at the end instead. So I really like how that sounded and I decided to go in and look for a little ad lib that I could add to spice this up. Me, 
so you guys can't see, but I'm bobbing my head like crazy right now because I love the bounce of this. But then I had another idea to kind of spice up the ending of this phrasing a little bit by taking the outro, the third chop that I showed you guys, and adding it to the end. So this is me just testing it out. So I like that part, so I'm going to slice it and I'm going to line it up and see if it is a smooth transition. So I love how that sounds and I'm very happy with this sample chop that I came up with. So I decided to use the intro for the chorus and this is what the chops sound like all together after an hour plus of chopping. So yeah, like I said, this took me like an hour and 10 minutes to get these chops correct, but I was happy with this. And now I decided to um, put this on stretch mode so that I can increase the tempo and add some effects to this. So here I increased the tempo to 148, but I eventually settled at 146. And now I'm adding it to a mixer track and I'm going to add some effects to this. So here I'm just cutting out the low end frequencies by EQing it. And you're not going to hear anything during this point because yeah, YouTube copyrighted this part. So this is me just cutting out the low end frequencies. And then I'm putting on the Cymatics Origin plugin, which is basically a resampling tool. And this will kind of make your sample sound old and weathered, which is the effect that I wanted. So I'm just playing around with the knob to fit, find out what I like. Then I added a phaser, a fruity flangus, and a limiter to make it sound a bit louder. So at this point I was ready to add my drums. So the first thing I added was a snare as a clap. And I just kept it basic and I kept it on the third note with a little bit of a switch up. And then I added an open hat. And then I decided to layer this up with a perk. And then I decided to go in and add a kick that had some character to it. So I like this, but it was a bit quiet. So I just went onto the EQ knob and I um, increased it a bit. And this is the pattern I came up with. So then I added a perk. Adding another perk. Mm. 
adding one more perk. And then at this point, I decided to look for a drum fill because a lot of boom bap um, beats have like drum fills in them. So I like this one probably because it's reversed. <laughs> So I'm just adding it to the end of the four bars and I'm gonna stretch it so that it fills up one complete bar just by increasing the time knob. So I really like how that sounded. At this point, I was ready to add my hi-hat so I just found a hat that I like and I loaded it up and I put it on fill every two steps. And I oscillated the velocity just to add some bounce to it. And then I added a second hat to add some rolls. And at this point, the only thing I needed was an 808 to complete this beat. So I added this 808 called Tech, and this is the pattern that I eventually ended up with. And then for my verse, I came up with a different 808 because the verse has a different melody and I had to take out this point again, but this is what it ended up sounding like. So yeah, that is my process of how I would flip a sample into something that's boom bap-ish for J. Cole and Dreamville. I could even hear Jay-Z on the 444 album doing something like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this process. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see from me next. And I'm going to structure this out and probably only be able to play like 45 seconds for y'all. But I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.